रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथ हाय नाथ हाय सीता ये ए नम उत्तराखंड चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन द बर्थ ऑफ कुश एंड लव रेसिटेशन बिगिन्स नाउ On the same night, Shatrugna housed himself in a thatched cottage. Sita gave birth to twin sons. In the midnight, the Muni boys came to Balmiki and communicated unto him this auspicious intelligence, saying, "O illustrious sir, the beloved spouse of Lord Rama hath given birth to two sons. Do thou so protect them that evil spirits might not injure them." Hearing those words, the highly effulgent Palmiki went there and attained great delights on beholding those two highly effulgent suns, resembling the newly risen sun and the celestials. Thereupon, he made arrangements against the oppression of ghosts and goblins. Thereupon, taking Kusha the upper part of the grass and Lava the lower part of the grass, the great ascetic Palmiki made those arrangements. and giving kusha sanctified by mantras unto the hands of elderly women he said do e rub the person of the elder boy with these and giving them lava he said do e rub the person of the younger brother with this and according to this i shall name the first son kusha and the second lava and by those names they shall be celebrated on earth Thereupon, reverentially taking from the hands of Almiki the kusha and lava, the means of protection, the elderly ladies engaged in guarding them. Hearing that Sita, without any trouble, had given birth to two sons, and elderly female ascetics had been engaged in protecting them and chanting the glories of Rama in the midnight, Shatrughna thought within himself, "Blessed it is that Sita had given birth to two sons." and with this joy the live long night of shravana passed away in no time having performed the morning rites after the expiration of the night and taking farewell of the ascetic valmiki shatrughna proceeded towards the west and having spent seven nights he at last arrived at the hermitage of the pious rishis living on the banks of the river yamuna Taking shelter there, he engaged in pleasant conversation with Chiavanya and other ascetics. Having remained there for the night and talked with those ascetics, the high-souled and heroic Raghu Prince Shatrughna was highly delighted. Mangalam Koshlendraaya Mahaniya Kunapte Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhomaaya Mangalam.